Let's take a quick tour of D2L. I'm at the login. I'm going to use the demonstration login. And your screen will probably look different depending upon which college you're at and how they've set up the colors and the different components around the screen. But once you come in, when you first log in, this is your home page. So this is my home. If you click on this, it's going to give you to this page. And this is going to list all your courses. Now, a lot of times, there'll be a lot of news up here. So there's a lot of news, and then as you scroll down, then you can find your courses. And other campus information will be on the left side, and information, helpful information, will be on either side. When you're finished, we'll click here to log out. So let's go into our course. Only before we do that, let's set up your picture. So you can open up your welcome box, go into your profile, and click on change picture. Now I have a picture all set up, so I'll put a different picture in here. Oh, I thought that was a different picture, but there's my picture. As human beings, we're, we're, uh, we're focused on people's faces. So you want to use a picture that's fairly uh, close, that has your face. Don't do a far off shot. And you notice how my shoulders are just turned a little bit away from the camera. That makes the picture a little more interesting and it doesn't look like a mug shot. Uh, get just a little half smile on your face, a nice pleasant smile. And this is psychologically very, very effective when people are looking at your course, i.e. your instructors. So when you have your picture the way you want, click on Save. And you will see that on your home page. So if we go back to my home, you can see your picture will show up there and your name. So I'm Demo Student. So let me scroll down and let's take a look at our one course. All the courses you have will be listed here when they're live. And this is the course homepage. If you want to see your, your other uh, students that are in the class, then you click on Class List. And this will give you a list of students. So you can see the students. You can see who the instructor is. Um, if there's any tutors or interpreters, anybody else that's added to the class. So let's go into students. Uh, let's just look at all. These green dots tell you that these people are online. So you can see who's online and who isn't. If we want to send this student an email, we can click on this box, click on the envelope, and the email program will come up. And you can send it just a standard email. I'm going to cancel out of that because that's just real typical email. This is the heart of each course, is the content. So we'll click on content. And you can see this is the list of modules. Now, depending upon the instructor in the course, this could be more detailed and have subheads and sub-subheads, and this can be quite extensive. And if you click on the first module, you look over here and you see the table of contents. You can see it's highlighted with the first module. And this tells you all you have to do for that module. So this is like a checklist. If you want to go, once you finish that module, then you can go on to the next. And the same thing happens. Now, oftentimes, an instructor will have just one page. You read that page, and then you go on to the next and read that page, and it'll carry you through the course that way. If you want to go back, you can always go back. And you can use your table of contents to go a whole module at a time. If you want to turn your table of contents off and have more space, then you can click on this, and that shows and hides your table of contents. And if you want this on a separate tab, you can separate it all. It's called undocking. 
and you can see up here, this is Firefox, you can see that we have a tab for our learning activities, and then here's the tab where we came from with our menu item and everything. When you're done with a tab like this, and these can get pretty, uh, they can build up, so let's undock this one. Now you can see we have three tabs. So I can click along here. When you're done with these, just click on the X and that will close them. Now we don't want to close this one because it's our last tab and it's like our home page. Click here to go back to the table of contents. And here we are back at the, the main page. Again, to return to this page, you can click on Course Home, and it'll take you back here. And My Home will take you back to where the listing of the courses are. In a separate video, I'll show you discussions and how to use discussion groups. I'll show you a quick quiz. The drop boxes are where you submit your assignments. And here's the gradebook. So on the gradebook, you can see all the items that need to be done and either the points and the percentages. So as these get graded, either by D2L or by your instructor, then the points or the percentages will show up. Now, a lot of the appearance of this depends on how the instructor has it set up. Some instructors just use percentages, some instructors use points, and I've set this up to use both. So you can kind of see your, your uh, grades as you proceed. Groups are set up by the faculty member, and that's when you work in groups of people. So you can uh, share assignments and discuss things back and forth. And groups aren't set up in this in this course, so I can't demonstrate those. If you ever have questions, you can go to FAQ, which stands for Frequently Asked Questions. And here's the help file that will take you out to D2L Help. So you mainly look up the things that you want to look up, say quizzes, and then here's the information on what you need for the quizzes. Again, to get back to your course, just click on Course Home, and it'll take you right back. So, when you're finished, log out. Takes you back to your login. And let me, before you leave, let me show you one quick shortcut. If you're using Firefox, you can right mouse click right here between these buttons and turn your bookmarks toolbar on. So that's this piece right here. Let me turn it off. I'll turn it back on. That's right here. And if you take this web page, this is where you're going to come to a lot to log in. I'm going to take this web address by taking this icon, dragging it onto my toolbar, and then I right mouse click on it, go to properties, and I put in a short version so I can fit lots of these. Now, if I go out to another web page and I click on that, It'll jump right to my login, and I can log in. So when you're going to web pages a lot, like D2L, when you're in a course, do that. Grab the icon here, put it onto your bookmark bar, and you can see I have my Facebook, I have my Gmail, my D2L, all the things that I go to a lot, I have marked here. The ones over here I go to the most frequently, and back here not as often. So that's a nice little trick that'll save you some typing and time. Look for the other videos on doing quizzes and discussion groups and the Dropbox.